Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen, Bob Dempster Kitchen. We're gonna experiment today. This is uh, gonna, we're just gonna try and see how things work out. And I thought I would share that with you so you can join me with it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make macaroni and cheese, but I'm putting a little different twist on it. Remember the lasagna that I made in the last video or one of the videos previous? and I added cottage cheese, two eggs, salt, pepper. Probably a little Parmesan cheese would be good in that also. Well, I'm gonna try that in the macaroni. Right now, I have added two cups of macaroni and we are going to put four cups of water. Now, this is a pressure cooker here. Putting four cups of water and we're going to add some salt in there and we're going to cook this in the pressure cooker for four minutes. Now um, if you don't have a pressure cooker then just do it on the stove and you do it a little longer than four minutes you know read the directions. Okay now we've got the macaroni noodles all cooked al dente and now what we're going to do is we're going to drain this water and then I'm going to come over here and I am going to do some cheese see here I've got, I'm trying to use my camera at the same time so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grate some cheese I've got different cheeses I've got some Gruyere, I've got some cheddar, I'm gonna put in some um, pepper jack. You can use whatever you like, but I'm gonna grate up a bunch of cheese. Here we go. Here comes the cottage cheese. We'll probably put maybe about half of this in here like that because we're going to layer this in there. I love cottage cheese. <clears throat> we're going to add a couple of eggs. Put them right in there. I really like my little container here where I've got this. I can put my stuff, my throwaways all in there and I can put my good ve vegetables or whatever I'm making on another one. I love it. And then at the top it's got some else. We're going to put some salt in here and some pepper. Just like that. A little pepper. This is going to be what we're going to layer. Now we're going to mix this up real good here. I used to do a TV be on a TV show regularly all the time and you can see those on my YouTube kitchen channel Bob Dempster Kitchen and I've made a lot of things on there that you might want to check out all right that's good that's done like that now we're gonna layer this put it in the baking dish and uh, we're going to layer the uh, noodles. We're going to get those all down there and we'll be good. Now in this experiment I'm going to place my cooked noodles in this bowl. Get them all in here. And then I'm going to take this cottage cheese, about a half of a cup, not a cup, uh, anyway, about a cup of um, cottage cheese, two eggs, and some salt and pepper. I'm going to mix that in here. Remember, this is an experiment. I'm experimenting on cooking. That's how you come up with new dishes. Now, to that, I've got some grated cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese. I have some Gruyere. I've got a little bit of Monterey Jack. And we'll just put 
So I mean, I don't want to put too much because I got to save some for the topping. Then we're going to mix this in. Let's get it off the side. Get that in here. And by the same token, we want to add some pepper for sure. And you know what's good also? Maybe some bacon bits. I've got some in my pantry. I may get some of those out. Mix that all up. And another thing that I like to put in is oregano or marjoram. I've got some marjoram here. This is from my garden. I'm going to put some of this in. That's one of those herbs. Remember I told you that I like to add herbs and spices and different things, you know, to flavor up food. And that's what's going on here. And, you know, while I'm experimenting, I'm just going to put a little garlic powder and a little onion powder. I can see if I've got any onion powder. I think I'm out of onion powder, so forget the onion powder, but that would be good in here as well. Stir that up. Oh boy, I think my experiment's going to be good. I hope. We'll t check it out when it's all done, that's for sure. Taste it and go from there. Now from here, we're going to put it in the baking dish. And I have got some spray. I'm going to spray this dish. You know what? I might have a too small of a dish. I'm going to get a different one. Bear with me for one second. I'm going to get the same dish that I made the lasagna in. And we're going to spray that with cooking spray. Put that in there like that. And now we're going to add this macaroni into this dish. Spread it all out. Hope you can see okay. Very good. All right. Put this aside. Now, let's spread this out here. going like that nice and flat put my finger in there and scoop that off hey you know it's okay it's all gonna be cooked now I want to get some bacon bits bear with me for one second Remember, experiment. It's an experimental dish. Okay, and some bacon bits. These are not fresh. Fresh would be ideal. These are just bacon bits you can buy in the store. And then we're going to add some more cheese on top to layer this so that it bakes real well. A little mixture. Cheddar cheese. Monterey Jack. You can even add Parmesan. And you know what I like to do on all my stuff? Now, some people may not like this, but I love olives, black olives. So we're going to add some black olives on this. We're going to put our oven on, and we're going to bake it. We'll be right back with you. We have this all ready now. We've got the cheese on it. I put black olives on it. You can leave those off if you're not into black olives. I also put a little oregano on there. And we're going to put it into the oven. The oven is ready now at 350 degrees. We're going to bake this for 25 to 30 minutes. And then after that, we're going to come back and we're going to put on the broil for just a few minutes to brown this top. And here we are. Look at that. Whoop. 
bubbling away, put it under the broiler for about five minutes just to brown the top a little bit. And it was baking for 25, 30 minutes in the oven. Now we're gonna taste it. But we're gonna let it rest for 10 minutes, 15 minutes before we cut into it. All right, here we go. We're gonna take, take a little slice across this way, across this way. And then we're going to put some on a plate. I'm gonna get the plate. Here we go. Oh yes, that looks yes, mighty good. Mm. And now we're gonna give it a try here. Oop, I'm caught. Gonna take it over here. And you know what's, what I like? Sorry, gonna come back here. That'll make us dizzy. I'm gonna take some of my cayenne saggy butts pepper sauce. That is tasty on this. Pull the chair out. And I'm going to put a little bit here. I like that. Of course, if you don't like that, you don't need to put that in there. All right, let's taste this. Let's get one of these. Remember, this is an experiment. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Hot. Ooh. Delicious. Absolutely. I think that was a good idea. A little cottage cheese. Two eggs. And salt and pepper, put a little of that cayenne pepper sauce to dip that in, oh yeah. Here we go, try that. Mm. Oh, you gotta try this. You have got to try this. This is one of my experiments and it is good. That's a little branch from the herb that I put in. All right, guys, give it a try. Thanks for joining me. This is delicious. You must try it. It's macaroni and cheese. I boil the water, boil the macaroni in my pressure cooker for four minutes. If you can do it on the stove, it'll take more, maybe eight minutes, six, something like that. And then we drain that and we put it in a bowl. And then I had mixed uh, maybe a cup of cottage cheese, two eggs, salt, pepper, mix that all up together. And then mix that into the macaroni noodles and then I grated up a number of cheeses like cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack, Gruyere, three or four or five different kinds of cheeses and then I put that in there mix that all up put it into the baking dish I added black olives you don't have to if you don't like those that's okay I added a little bacon bits made it good, a little tastier. And then I put some oregano on the top. Baked it for 25, 30 minutes, and then put it on broil for about five minutes, keeping an eye on it and letting it rest after that. 
for 10 or 15 minutes and now cutting into it. You got to try it. It is delicious. Thank you for watching. Be sure and hit the subscribe button. Bob Dempster Kitchen. Please rejoin me at another video. Thank you. Bye.